what up so so today guys i'm going to show you how to embroider on a shirt like this one or this one or this one or this one or this one. to embroider shirt but I didn't want to have to take like the time to embroider every single color and so that's where like my thought of like ironing on the whole image first with all the colors and then just hitting the highlights came into play kind of like on on this shirt here but really like the iron on part isn't necessary you can use what I'm about to teach you to embroider onto any shirt but first thanks to the sponsor of this video filthy they're, they're making these nano fiber materials for face masks and giving it to you guys at cost Cool. So what I did to make these shirts, I, I took some blank shirts and then I dyed them first. And my thought was to do three different colors so I could do those three options as merch. Then what I did after is I printed off an iron on thing, ironed it on, and I just came in and embroidered the highlights. And like I said, my thought was that with the iron on it would speed up the process, but then I ended up doing this shirt that I'm wearing right now. And it took like two weeks or so so it's been a hot minute since i put out a video i am giving away these four shirts on instagram so if you want to go snag one there go check out instagram and the pre-sale is now open on my site if you want to buy one of those suckers so with that all set up let's go the iron on left like a clear outline around the outside of the image so this time when i cut it out i cut it really close and i cut each individual shape out and with that i was ready to iron that bad boy on so I go over more in depth how to do this in that last video, but also if you don't have like iron on things and you want to embroider on a shirt, you could just trace the image or whatever you're doing directly onto the shirt. Just basically your first step when doing this is to get like your basic reference onto the shirt and I use the iron on. After you do that, you need a hoop and some stabilizer. I'm using a tearaway backing and we'll see how that works. So I shove that, I shove, I shove that into the shirt and then take the smaller inside of the hoop and put it inside behind the stabilizer and behind the shirt. And then loosen that top one and just press it on. And you wanna make sure that it's like nice and flat on the top and on the inside with the stabilizer. And if it is, you just tighten it around and in and you're good to go. You don't need these clamps. That's just to help me film and hold it steady as I film. But then I did get my floss and a needle, and I like the needles with the big old fat heads so that I can get the floss in there. So I took like a good couple lengths of the floss and tied a knot in the end, and then took scissors, cut right behind that knot, then on the other side, I made it nice and flat so that I could stick it the, in the needle. Stick it in the, stick it in the needle. Stick it in the needle. Cool. I also use athletic tape, I think that's what it's called, on my fingers, those three, to help push and pull the needle out. First thing you do is you're gonna come from the bottom, pull it up until you're up nice and taut with that knot, then push it back down. And just repeat that over and over and over until you run out of floss or you have like hardly any floss left. And then what you do is you come up underneath and you're gonna separate that floss into two different things. So two strands of three, and then do a little square knot left over right, right over left, pull her tight, and then cut off the excess. And basically you're just gonna repeat that over and over. For this design I just wanted to hit like the highlights of the flowers. And so I just did basic tiny little satin stitches which is just like an up and down stitch, normal stitch. Just in like the parts that I thought would look good with a little bit of color. And I thought it did the trick. I made it kind of look like the whole thing was embroidered even though it isn't. Sneaky sneaky. So done with that and the backing. I wasn't super stoked with how the backing held up. It was like too stiff and it was like too fragile. So it, I thought I'd try something else. This wash be gone stabilizer is really strong and then it's just gonna wash right away. I thought that might be nice. So trying to get on this itty bitty small boy and just the same idea, just hitting the little highlights. And I don't know, 
I really like how this small one turned out. It really looks like the whole thing is embroidered, in my opinion. I almost didn't even need to use the iron on for that one, but it was a good reference. With those on, I thought I would start on my face shirt. And I thought maybe it'd go quicker if I used a punch needle, but I had forgotten how to use a punch needle. Luckily, there's this dumb tutorial on YouTube. And I just went at it. But as much as I tried, I couldn't get to work. So I just went back to doing it normal embroidery style, which was fine. But this one took forever for some reason. So if I could have made that punch needle work, I would have been able to get that done real speedy. But also, I don't think it would have looked nearly as cool. Well, I don't know. It would look cool, but it wouldn't have looked the same. I just added those cute little flowers around my face and started on the back of the shirt. My thought was that maybe if I had like more space, I'm not working such a tiny image, I could do the punch needle. So I tried it again, flipped it around from the back and it just wasn't having it. But unzipping it was pretty cool. So with the punching a lot working, I'm like, okay, I don't really want to have to do like sat huge satin stitches. So I was going to do, I guess those are still satin stitches. I don't know. Whatever. I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do like huge fill stitches. I wanted to be able to see like the skin in behind it, thinking that would maybe speed up the process. I honestly think that made it longer, but it did make for cool effects. So pretty stoked with how that turned out. And then also after I did, it, I was like, oh, the lines aren't thick enough. So then I... I don't even know what I did. I don't know what it's called, but I basically just wove a string in between the outline stitch to make like a wavy effect. It's really cool. I can show you guys how to do that in a different tutorial if you want, because I'm pretty stoked with how that turned out. Well, well, just let me know. Anyways, with that all done, I thought I'd add cute little flowers to the mustache, and oops, all done. I actually did a poll on Instagram, let's see. And I asked, like, first off, if like the flowers should be different on the different color shirts, and no, you're like, do the different or the same, or do different. And the last question was, if you wanted me to do merch of the shirt with the face or the flowers. Also, I had to pay an awesome medical bill, but anyways. And you guys said you wanted the shirts with the flowers as merch. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a pre-launch for these, and that's gonna be available on the site right now and I'll probably like dock the price for the pre-launch. I still might, I think I'm gonna put these on, but I'm just gonna do a limited run. So I'm only gonna make as many as you guys order. That will be the end of them. So I am gonna be giving away those shirts on my Instagram. So go leave a comment on my most recent post and also make sure that you're signed up on my giveaway thing on my website. That's how I notify you guys if you want. And lastly, again, huge thank you for Filthy for sponsoring the video. Let me go grab that material real quick. Way back. Oh, way back. Oh, way back. Oh, sorry, toast. Ugh. Yeet. So it's filthy, as in filter. Because what they do is they manufacture high quality HVAC filters for houses. So, but because of like the pandemic and in an effort to help, what they did is they actually transitioned their manufacturing to just like do full time face mask stuff. And they're offering to sell this material, this filter material, to consumers at cost. So if you guys want to grab some of the material, I'll have the discount code and a link to like where to get it. Also, if you guys want to make your own mask, I'll put a link to like instructions how to make a mask. My video where I made a mask wasn't the best video. So maybe I'll do another video if you guys want of me making masks or like maybe embroidering a mask. Do like a DIY embroidered mask with like this on the inside as a filter. If you guys want that, let me know, because I think that'd be kind of fun to do. Also, I'm, I'm going on like a real hard embroidery kick right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> There'll be a promo code, probably right here, that you can use for 10% off, and the links for all this stuff is in the description of the video, so. Brian 